Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, a small request to you all. Please subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 1000 subscribers. Also, I upload videos on daily basis. Okay. Now coming to today's topic. So I was supposed to make a video on .NET web app build and deployment. But due to so many like errors were coming into that project. So I have to put that on hold as of now. So since I am recording this video at 3 a.m. in the morning, this is because I was supposed to upload videos on daily basis. And as of now, I don't have any specific topic. So what I want to do today is to do a speed run sort of thing. Basically, uh, that means that uh, I want to check how fast we can build and deploy an application, a full fledged application to any server. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a shopping cart application. Also, I have made it public as many of you requested previously. So you can also get it and uh, do a POC of your own. Okay. And also, since I'm bringing all these repositories to you, so I would request you that you can follow me on GitHub as well, because uh, if I show you, show you something, I have to go through multiple repositories because I like search for repositories which are ready to build and deploy applications. So if you want to get access to all of those, please follow me on GitHub. Okay. Now coming to what I'm going to do today is build and deploy this application as fast as I can. Okay. Okay. So for this purpose, I have installed three tools on my, uh, Ubuntu machine, Ubuntu VM, so three tools. I have installed uh, JDK 11, I have installed Maven 3 or Maven latest I think and I have installed Docker and just using these three applications we are going to perform build and uh, deploy build and deployment of a complete application, full fledged application having front end, back end as well as H2 database. Okay, So let's get started with that. So first of all what we need to do is copy the URL of the repository and here we need to create a uh, clone of that repository. So I will run the command git clone uh, Paste the URL click enter and it will be done. Okay, if I run ls command you can see a folder has created So let's get into this folder Okay, now we will run the maven clean package command to build our application To generate the artifact. Okay, maven kill clean p a c k a g package and I want to skip test cases. Okay, so d skip test equal to true okay now let me just explain you in short like this command will what it will do it will generate the target folder name target and inside it we will be having a jar file which is the main application packaged with the dependencies and just to make sure that uh, even test cases are failing our job should not fail i have made uh, like use this argument where d skip test is equal to true okay so it will skip the test cases okay so let's click enter and it should start building the application okay so you can see if i scroll up yeah so it has started building the application and it will take a little bit of time still just to monitor this okay also uh, like uh, yeah all the commands that i'm going to use here will be in the description as well these commands that commands to install jdk maven and docker so they will be in description you can get it there from there okay so our command has run you can see it says build success if i run ls you can see target folder is created if i go inside target okay so we should be uh, we should be able to see the artifact so you can see this artifact uh, shopping cart 0.0.1-snapshot.jar uh, this is the main application okay when we talk when we say that we have artifact that is that artifact is basically the main application uh, packaged with the all the dependencies okay in case you are wondering what are dependencies these things you are seeing downloaded downloaded these are the dependencies required to build the application and they have been downloaded from maven central okay okay so build build part is complete now what i want to do is uh, uh, create a docker image of it okay so for that we will run the command as uh, docker build hyphen t then let's provide a name as shopping uh, tag i want as latest okay then we need to provide the path of docker file in my case there is a folder uh, docker inside which we have docker file okay so i will provide the hyphen f then docker slash docker file then a dot okay this will what it will do it will build the docker image using the artifact that we have created okay so this should not take too much time and this time we are not going to push the uh, docker image to docker hub repository instead we will keep it here just to check like if image is completed or not we can run the command as docker images and you can see uh, one image is there shopping latest okay okay 
now what i i'm going to do is uh, access uh, like deploy this uh, uh, application in a docker container and access the uh, application through browser okay so we can run the command as docker run hyphen d because we want to run it run it in detached mode okay then uh, name name i want to put as uh, shopping dash cart okay port port is the place like uh, a specific port on which we can access the application so two port is there 807 sorry 8070 colon 8070 in case you are thinking why two ports basically uh, two one port is of the container port that will be open on the docker container second port is the port uh, uh, on uh, which will be over the host okay host is like on this machine Uh, inside which or uh, through which through that port will be accessing the application so in in this case i will keep both the uh, port as 8070 only then we need to provide the docker image name so in our case the image name is just uh, like recently just now we have created shopping latest okay click enter and you can see the it is created so to access the application over browser we can go to first of all we need to find the ip address which which is if i go to edit we can copy the ip address from here then paste it in the browser 8070 is the port and click enter and you can see the application is deployed and it is accessible as well okay so you can see like how 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 like less time it took to build and deploy the application okay okay you can see yeah it is running fine we can add the items in a uh, cart okay we can remove them and whatever we want we can do we can click on sign out okay so i hope this video is useful for you and just to do a test run sort of thing from your end as well you can use the repository but i would really appreciate if you could follow me on github as well as on our devops shack okay so thanks for watching and 